CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 91 through 95. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 91. In addition to a markup language, which kind of programming language would a web developer most likely use to create a website? The answer is A. Interpreted. Interpreted languages, such as JavaScript, are commonly used in web development because they run directly in the browser without the need for compilation. This allows for real-time execution and dynamic interactions on websites, making them more responsive and interactive for the user. Question 92. A developer is constructing step-by-step -step instructions and conditional statements for a computer program to address a specific challenge. What is the developer constructing? The answer is A. An algorithm. An algorithm is a set of step-by-step -step instructions designed to perform a specific task or solve a particular problem. In the context of the question, the developer is creating these instructions and incorporating conditional statements to guide the computer program's behavior. Algorithms are fundamental in programming as they dictate how a program processes information and arrives at a solution or result. Question 93. A new business has designed a unique logo and wishes to prevent other organizations from using it in any capacity. Which of the following measures should the business implement to protect their logo? Choose 2. The answer is B and D. Copyright and trademark. Copyright and trademark are vital for logo protection. Copyright grants exclusive rights to original works, preventing unauthorized use of artistic creations like logos. Trademarks protect symbols and names tied to goods or services, ensuring no other entity uses a similar mark that could confuse consumers. Together, they offer robust protection for a company's logo against potential misuse. Question 94. A journalist often travels to various locations for work and carries sensitive information on their laptop. To ensure the data remains secure even if the laptop is misplaced or stolen, which of the following measures would be the best to implement? The answer is D. Full disk encryption. Full disk encryption ensures that all the data on the laptop's storage, including both the system and user files, is encrypted. This means that even if the laptop is lost or stolen, unauthorized individuals won't be able to access the encrypted data without the correct decryption key or password. Question 95. In which scenarios would one most likely have an expectation of privacy? The answer is B. Entering personal information into a school registration website. Entering personal information into a school registration website implies that the platform is designed with security measures to protect sensitive data. Educational institutions, such as schools, are often subject to strict regulations and standards that mandate the protection of personal information. These regulations ensure that the information provided is kept confidential and is not misused. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.